What's up, everybody? Hello and welcome to Not Your Average Meta, an MTG Commander channel dedicated to bringing you decks and commanders you wouldn't normally find in your average meta. This week's video is brought to you by our new channel sponsor, International MTG. If you're looking for competitive pricing on your favorite MTG cards old and new, be sure to check out the International MTG store and TCG player. Link in the description of this video. This week on Not Your Average Meta, we're bringing you the first ever game of Two-Headed Giant on the channel, featuring a rivalry that stood the test of time with the Autobots versus the Decepticons. We'd also like to shout out our second full-time channel sponsor for Season 3, The Hobby Horse. If you're ever in the Central Illinois area, be sure to stop in and check out the store as well as saying hi to Martin. This week's matchup features Gavin teaming up with CJ and the Autobots, playing Ultra Magnus Tactician, while CJ plays Optimus Prime Hero. Then we have the team of Fogron Justin repping the Decepticons, with Fog playing Megatron Tyrant and Justin playing Soundwave Sonic Spy. Now that we have our fighters, let's step into the Thunderdome and see which deck will come out on top. Turn 1, Gavin plays an Ancient Din while CJ plays the Plains. Justin and Fog both play Plains of their own. CJ plays an Island while Gavin plays an Arid Mesa, paying the life to go get an untapped stopping grounds. Gavin then casts an Arcane Signet and they pass. Justin plays a Swamp and Fog plays a Mountain. Fog then pays to cast his own Arcane Signet while Justin casts an Idol of Oblivion. CJ plays a mount for turn while Gavin plays a forest. Gavin then casts a smothering tithe while CJ plays a helm of cauldron. Fog plays a great furnace while Justin plays a waifu swamp. Fog then casts a megatron for his more than meets the eye cost while Justin casts read the bones, scrying two cards before he draws two cards and loses two life. Gavin plays an evolving wilds for turn while CJ plays another plans. Kevin then casts a Hedron Archive before cracking his wilds to go get a mountain from his library. Fog plays an Inventor's Fair for turn while Justin casts a Knight's Whisper. The Zen has him losing two life and drawing two cards. Fog then casts Kark Clan Ironworks and goes to combat, swinging back a try at CJ and Gavin. Neither of them block and they take the four commander damage. Gavin and CJ draw while Fog helps Justin decide what cards to discard. CJ then plays the planes before casting a Smuggler's Share, while Gavin casts a Replicated Shattering Spree in order to destroy all of Fog and Justin's artifacts. Gavin then pays to cast his commander Ultra Magnus and they pass. Fog plays the planes for turn to cast a Liquid Metal Torque, while Justin casts a Mortified to destroy Gavin's Smothering Tithe. CJ plays a Talisman of Progress for turn before Gavin goes to combat, swinging his commander and Justin and Fog. The Zen has him put into play a tapped and attacking Artificer's Dragon. 11 damage is then dealt to Justin and Fog, while Gavin transforms his commander into Ultra Magnus Armored Carrier. Gavin then casts a Solid Simulacrum and goes to get a lane from his library. Justin and Fog gain a life on their upkeep. Justin then casts No Catcher's Monument while Fog casts an Automated Artificer for turn. Gavin cracks his Archive to draw two cards before casting an Arcbound Reclaimer and going to combat. He then swings out of Justin and Fog for 16 more damage before Transformers Commander back to Ultra Magnus. Justin and Fog gain a life on their upkeep. Justin then casts a Commissar Severina Rain, which gives him a 1 1 Warrior token off his monument, while Fog casts a Meteor Golem, choosing to destroy Ultra Magnus. Gavin plays a Savannah for turn, while CJ plays an Island. Gavin then casts a Platinum Angel, while CJ casts his commander, Optimus Prime. They then go to combat, which has Gavin attacking with his Dragon and Solemn. Fog then blocks the Solemn with his Artificer, and they take the rest of the damage. Justin then plays a Plains for turn, while Fog plays a tapped artifact land and casts his own Platinum Angel. Justin then pays to sack his token to his Commissar, which has him drawing a card and gaining two life. Gavin casts a Conjurer's Closet, while CJ casts a Godsend. CJ then pays to equip his Helmet's Commander, and they go to combat. Gavin again attacks with the Solemn, while CJ attacks with his Commander. Fog once again blocks the Solemn, while they take the rest of the Commander damage. Justin and Fog again gain a life on their upkeep. Justin then plays an island and casts Birth of the Imperium, creating two 2-2 two, two Astaris tokens. While Fog casts the Hedron Archive and a Staff of Nin. Gavin plays a land that pays to recast his commander, while CJ casts a Jessica's Will, which gives him 7 red mana and exiles the top 3 cards of his library. CJ then casts a Fire Emancipation before tapping out to also cast Aurelius Fury, where X is equal to 3. He then uses his 3 triggers to take out Fog's Golem and Platinum Angel. Gavin and CJ then go to combat once again, Justin then blocks Optimus with his two tokens and they take the rest of the damage. On the rough keep, Justin's Saga ticks up, having each opponent sack a creature. The Zen is Optimus transforming into Optimus Prime Autobot Leader, while Gavin sacks a Solemn to draw a card. Fog then casts a Forsaken Your Monument and they pass. 
Gavin casts a tempered steel while CJ pays to equip Optimus with his helmet as godsend. They then declare combat and Justin casts Call the Copper Codes to create four 1 1 soldier tokens. Gavin then attacks with his commander and dragon, which has him put into play a Dark Steel Colossus, while CJ also attacks with his commander. The thing gives him more than enough damage to take Fog and Justin out and win the game. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you can see more games and decks you wouldn't normally see in your average meta.